In this video, we will create Sybase devices. One is for data and another one is for log. What is Sybase device? Sybase devices are storage areas to create the database. Without devices, we cannot create databases. Sybase uses logical devices to manage the database space. A logical device is a name of physical area or file name. We can create device using the command disk init. This is the syntax to create a device. Disk init name of the device, physical name which means path of device allocation, virtual desk number, virtual device number, size of the device and other parameters. These are the parameters. These are the examples. Look at here. Disk init is the command name, phys name that is physical path of the device and the size of the device. Here 10 GB means 10 GB. If you want to create 10 MB, you have to give 10 M. It should be in quotes. Look at here. All are in quotes. Now, we are going to create two devices, one data device with 1 GB size and another log device with 500 MB space. I have connected to my cyber server or AAC server. Disk init name here data1 Phys name that is physical name or physical path is home or to data storage and give the name of the physical file name that is data one that, that whatever the extension you can give size must be in double quotes i'm going to create this device with one gb notice here name is the name of the device physical path and size of the device to be created and press enter it has been created now i'm going to create another device that is for log disk unit name equals to log1 comma phys name equals to notice here i am creating 500 mb so i have given m if it is gb then give z or if you want to mention the gb in mb then give 1024 m enter notice here the error here the error is i forgot to give comma here here I forgot to give the comma in the previous section. So two devices has been created. You can verify these devices created or not by using the command sp underscore help device data one and go. Notice here this is the device name. See these are the column names available available for this one. This is the name and this is the physical path. This is the size of device and th this is the free space available in that device. Again, verify sp underscore help device log 1. See, this is the name, this is the physical path and this is the actual device space and this is the free space available in the in that devices. Another way to check the devices information is se select name from devices this is the system table to check the devices information see we have created these two devices and these are the devices which come with the installation of Sybase or AAC server so in this video we have covered definition of this Sybase device then syntax of the Sybase device then we have created two devices one is for data and another one is for lag. Then we have seen how to check the devices information by using sp underscore help device and system table that is Sybase devices. In the next video we are going to in the next video we are going to see how to create a database using these devices. For more updates please subscribe this channel. Thank you.